first up we're going to try here is the ping command so you go ahead and open up your command prompt and let's try to ping Google so let's just try to type ping google.com now uh, ping command is a very very useful tool especially if you're trying to uh, check connectivity between device to another device or like what we're doing here we're trying to check the connectivity of our computer here to the google.com or to the internet the next command we have here is the ARP-A, a a short for address resolution protocol ARP-A now this ARP-A is actually going to show us a list of IP address that is mapped to a physical address in this interface NS lookup command. This NS lookup command is going to translate or check on the IP address a certain domain name has. So we're going to NS lookup google.com and it's going to show us the IP address this google.com is using. So you can see it here. This is the IPv6 address the google.com is using and at the same time this is the IPv4 address. Now let's do another try with yahoo.com. So NS lookup yahoo.com so if you want to check the IP address of Yahoo there you have it the tracer command using tracer command we're going to try to trace our route going to Google so you can see it here trace route or tracer google.com now we basically use trace route command if we're trying to check where our packet stopped or we are trying to check where our packet went route print command so just simply type route print now route print command is going to show us the routing table of our device and these are a lot of nitty gritty data that you can use in troubleshooting IP config slash all this IP config slash all is going to show us the available network adapters in our computer so it will list that one up at the same time it's going to give us the configuration of these adapters like IP address MAC address default gateway subnet mask last but not least here is your netstat command with a switch of AN okay this netstat command is going to list a detailed information on the communication of your computer to other network devices so you can see it here it says local address foreign address in a state so it means your local address is your inside LAN and this is the port number it's using and then what IP address is this communicating with and in the port number and then what's the state